What's going on lovely people? This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense, and today we have a 5-minute review about Zika virus. Most patients with Zika virus are asymptomatic. The problem with Zika virus is the complication, especially for babies, because this can lead to microcephaly. Zika virus can cause spasticity as well as sensory neural hearing loss. And don't forget some ocular abnormalities as well. So let's get started. This is my playlist called 5 Minute Review. Please watch these videos. Microbes are divided into bacteria, fungi, viruses, and parasites, but technically parasites are not microbes because the word micro means microscopic. Some parasites are so big, like Ascaris and Telostoma, they are huge. Bacteria, fungi, and parasites can replicate independently. They can make their own proteins, they can produce energy, and they can be seen by light microscopy. On the other hand, viruses are not cells. They cannot replicate independently, they cannot make their own proteins, they cannot produce energy, they cannot be seen by light microscopy, only electron microscope. Do you remember the four fundamental tenets of the cell theory? All living things are composed of cells. The cell is the basic function unit of life. Cells arise only from pre-existing cells, and cells carry genetic info in form of DNA. To which the virus responded, but what about me? Viruses are not living organisms. They are considered at the edge of life. They are in between life and non-life. Why? They lack cellular structures. They cannot replicate independently. They don't always have DNA. Sometimes they have RNA. Small infectious agents. Discovered in 1892, transmitted via vectors, replicate very quickly. Hashtag go viral. Everyone's trying to go viral. No one is trying to go bacterial. Viruses will hijack your own nucleus and use it as a DNA making machine or an, as an RNA making machine. Lymphocytes are your own cells who are responsible to fight viruses. Cells replicate by mitosis or binary fission viruses. Nope, I'm not doing this. Cell membrane is found in every cell. An envelope is found in some viruses, but not all of them. And the envelope is not a cell membrane. The nuclear material here is DNA and RNA in the same freaking cell. But here it's DNA or RNA, not both. Your cell has gazillion proteins. Viruses have few proteins. Cells have ribosomes. Viruses do not have ribosomes with few exceptions. In cells, mitochondria could be present or absent. In viruses, they are always absent. If you have more proteins, you'll have more enzymes because enzymes are proteins. But if your proteins are fewer, enzymes will be few. Let the virus speak about himself. I have either DNA or RNA, not both. I'm surrounded by a protein coat and sometimes an envelope. My proteins are few, enzymes are few. I do not have a nucleus, I do not have a cytoplasm. Ribosomes are absent most of the time, mitochondria are absent. Viruses are divided into DNA viruses and RNA viruses. What are the DNA viruses? Pox, herpes, hepatina. Parf pep poly adena. The first line has an envelope. The second line has no envelope. This mnemonic is from Help Hippo on YouTube. Any other word is an RNA virus, such as toga, flavi, retro, corona, delta, arena, bunia, phylo, rabdo, orthomexo, paramexo, picorna, calisi, hepi, rio. The last line has no envelope. Everything before it has an envelope. Since viruses cannot produce their own energy or make their own proteins, they have to hijack you. They are obligate intracellular particles, and in that sense, they are considered parasites. Today we are talking about Zika virus, which is a flavi virus. But hey, Medicosis, in my textbook, they say that Zika is an arbovirus, and you didn't mention arbo here. Why are you spreading so much misinformation? Shut up. The word arbo is fake. It's not a classification. It's not taxonomy. Arbo literally mean arthropod born virus. Any virus of this that is arthropod born is gonna be called an arbovirus. It has nothing to do with the taxonomy. In case of Zika virus, the mosquito that's gonna transmit that Zika virus is called Aedes aegypti. Makes me proud to be Egyptian. This mosquito means a lot to me. I have her picture above my bed. Zika virus is a virus. Well, no kidding. Is it DNA or RNA? RNA. What kind of RNA? Flavy. Is it arthropod born? Yes, that's why we consider it as an arbovirus. Zika is positive sense, single-stranded, and 
has an envelope. Route of transmission of Zika virus. It's a vector borne by the Aedes aegypti mosquito or transplacental transmission, aka vertical transmission from mommy to baby or intercourse. Clinical signs and symptoms. Most cases are asymptomatic. If there are symptoms, the incubation period is 2 to 14 days. And this is the period between the virus entering your body and you starting to suffer symptoms. Symptoms can include low-grade fever, flu-like symptoms, and a rash. The rash is maculopapular and pruritic. It's itchy. What do you mean by flu-like symptoms? Arthralgia myalgia, malaise conjunctivitis. It's non-purulent because this is not a bacteria. This is a virus. Viruses will give non-purulent conjunctivitis. How do I diagnose Zika? history, especially if the patient is living or has traveled to a region of an outbreak, such as South America, Central America, Southern United States. Have you noticed all of these have relatively warm weather? Yeah, because the mosquito loves warm weather. I've told you before why malaria was rampant in Africa, but it did not affect the Inca civilization. Ever wonder why? Because the Inca used to live on top of mountains. And as you go up, what happens to the temperature? It gets colder. And the stinking female Anopheles mosquito cannot live in cold temperatures. In general, mosquitoes love warm weather. Let's do some labs. Acute phase reactants. CRP, elevated. ESR, elevated. Ferritin, elevated. Platelets are low, white blood cells are low, thrombocytopenia and leukopenia. Lactate dehydrogenase high, gamma glutamyl transferase high. What is the definitive diagnosis? PCR is the best. What if this is like remote infection? I had uh, Zika virus like two months ago. Then we'll do serology. We'll look for the antibodies against Zika virus in your serum. Prevention. No vaccine yet. Vector control. Insect repellent. And avoid unprotected intercourse. Treatment. No definitive therapy. Just provide supportive care. Complications of Zika virus are huge. Guillain-Barré syndrome, congenital Zika syndrome with microcephaly, ventriculomegaly, spasticity, sensorineural hearing loss, ocular manifestations, etc. And it can lead to pregnancy loss. If you want to learn about antibacterials, antivirals, antifungals, and antiparasitic medications, check out my antibiotics course on my website, medicosisperfectionalist.com. What else would you like reviewed in 5 minutes? Let me know the answer in the comment section. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my premium courses. Thank you for watching. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.